I'm gonna, you know. Okay, so we're going to look at the veins now, and because veins are bringing blood back to the heart, we're gonna start from the lower extremity and work our way up through the vessels as they approach the heart. On this model, there are no veins on the lower part of the leg, so we're gonna start with this one here, which is the popliteal vein. It's gonna run up the back of the, behind the knee, and then we're gonna spin this around and you're gonna see that we've got our femoral vein. This femoral vein is going to attach to or um, join up with the, the external iliac vein. And the external iliac vein, which is here's the left and the right external iliac. Um, and there is a com internal iliac, which you could see on this side. Can you Here. Um, so that would be right internal, and then you're going to have one on the left. These are hard to see. You have to really kind of get in. And then um, those internal and external iliacs are going to converge on the common iliac. This would be the left common iliac and the right common iliac. Those common iliacs are going to dump their blood into the inferior vena cava. The inferior vena cava is going to continue up to the heart, um, but along the way you're going to see that there are some branches here. This that comes directly off the inferior vena cava is the gonadal, the right gonadal vein. The left gonadal vein is over here, but notice that it doesn't dur dump directly into the inferior vena cava. It's going to attach up here. This is the, the kidney, so we've got the renal vein coming off of here. The suprarenal vein, this would be left renal, left suprarenal. Um, and then over here we've got the right renal vein. Um, now I just want to pull in while I've got this. Alright, so we've got our inferior vena cava. That's going to attach. Here's the, the liver that would fit in here. So notice that here's the part of the inferior vena cava. It's going to attach here like that. Um, there is a portal system. The portal system is going to, um, all of the blood that's coming from the intestines, the stomach, etc., is going to travel to the liver first to get processed. That is going to come through this portal vein. This is the hepatic portal vein. It's purple because it's part of a portal system. And if you recall, a portal system is when we go through two capillary beds between an artery and a vein before returning to the heart. So it's artery, capillary bed, another capillary bed, and then the heart with a portal vein in between those two capillaries. So here is the, the hepatic portal vein. So all that nutrient-rich blood is being delivered to the liver. The liver will process that, take out what it needs, um, and then this portal vein is gonna dump into the hepatic vein, which is gonna dump into the inferior vena cava. So that's the portal system. On here, this red one is the hepatic artery. I mentioned the hepatic artery from the celiac trunk last time when we did the arteries, but here it is on the backside of the liver. Now, another um, vessel, so we're going to continue up the inferior vena cava, but I want to come over to this model here, because at least you noticed it. Go. All right, so I wanna just look, have you take a look at this um, model here. So here we have, here's the inferior vena cava coming into the heart. Here are the um, intercostals. So these vessels here, these are going between the ribs. The blue vessels are the in intercostal veins. The red ones are the intercostal arteries. This thick blue vessel here that's coming up like this is the zygous vein. The zygous vein is going to dump into here the superior vena cava. 
Let's see, zygous vein. So now let's go back to look at blood coming from the head to the heart. So the heart would be here. So we're going to have, first off, you notice these two large vessels on either side of the neck. This is the, the right or left internal jugular. So that's going to drain blood from the head. You also have an external jugular, which on most of the models you can't see, but you can see it on this model. On this model here, it's more superficial. The external jugular is going to go up the right, this is the right one, the right side of the head and it's going to hit more superficial structures. But the ones on most of the models are the internal. So blood's going to come back to the, um, into this, which this vessel here is the right brachiocephalic vein. This right brachiocephalic vein is joined by this right in internal jugular and this right subclavian vein. So they form this right brachiocephalic. On the left side, we're going to have the left subclavian and the left internal carotid are going to form the left brachiocephalic vein, which then dumps into this piece here, which is the superior vena cava. Now, I don't have a model, an arm model, that has the veins on it, but if I did, the veins are going to run sort of alongside the arteries in the arm, so it's going to be the same kind of thing. As you move through the armpit, you're going to have an axillary vein, a brachial vein, you're going to split as you go down the, the arm, um, but I don't have a model to show you that. And then the cephalic vein is going to run, it's more superficial, so it's going to come out like this, that's um, the cephalic vein. So that